In this video, I will be speaking on behalf of the HP community, at least I would like to think so, because a lot of the stuff, if not all, that I will be mentioning in this video is going to be uh, very appreciated by uh, HP users. And uh, I really hope that the timing for this video is not too late, because if HP had planned for, uh, for a new uh, HP Prime, or whatever they decided to call it, I, uh, it is very much possible that uh, that new replacement is uh, in development already. Uh, we, we've had the Prime for nearly 10 years. Uh, it came out in 2013, and next year would be, uh, uh, we would have uh, the Prime for a decade. 10 years, that is a lot. And uh, the Prime had two different generations, Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 1 had two different revisions, Revision A and Revision C, which were pretty much identical. You know, uh, they had very minor differences. Uh, Gen 2, even Gen 2 is very similar, if not identical, to uh, Gen 1. So it is safe to say that uh, HP has not announced a new calculator for uh, almost 10 years now. Anyways, uh, I made a list. Uh, the list is not in a specific order. So if you uh, see me or if you heard me mentioning uh, one feature that uh, I would like to see on the new HP Prime or whatever uh, HP decided to call it, that does not mean that uh, that is the most important feature. You know, it's just, just uh, and also the list is not exhaustive. So this is a, a non-exhaustive list of, uh, of the things that I desire to see in the new HP Prime. Okay, so... First thing first, number one is going to be the RPN entry. Uh, <laughs> if you were coming from, or even if even if you are coming from uh, any legacy HP calculators, uh, such as the 48G2 or even the 49G right here, then you would know the RPN on those calculators is a lot different from the RPN on here on the HP Prime. I made a video uh, title the RPN on the HP Prime is a joke, and I still, I still believe that. I still believe the RPN here is useless for only one reason, the fact that you cannot use it in, uh, uh, in cast mode. So I really would like to see a, a, a much improved RPN version uh, on the new uh, HP Prime, okay? So that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, the display, okay, the Touch screen. I don't have anything against the touch screen. I actually love it. I think more calculators should have that, actually. Uh, Texas Instruments is probably going to uh, copy that. I mean, that's the way to go. Touch screen, touch screen is just, uh, it's just so, it's just too convenient. You know, it's just too convenient. It's one of those features that uh, you didn't know you needed until you start using it. You know, for instance, uh, when you are uh, graphing some uh, functions, some equations. Okay, I was doing this earlier. Okay, so I'm not even going to erase my graph, so I'm just going to go and graph this. So as you can see, if I go to the symbolic view here, uh, you can see that I'm uh, indeed trying to graph two uh, functions here, two equations here. Okay, so if I click on plot, then th there's only one equation that is uh, visible. Okay, and the reason for that is because uh, uh, the, uh, the second graph uh, here that you want, you, is, is going to start graphing at uh, when x is equal to uh, uh, 30. So here, my windows is not adjusted for that to accommodate uh, the second graph. So if you are using, let, let's say if you're using uh, the 48GL, then uh, you would have to reset, I mean not reset, you would have to readjust your window, you know, to match that. But with the Prime, thanks to the touch screen, you can just uh, move over, you know, this is how quickly you can, uh, you, uh, uh, you can uh, use this display or you can uh, uh, travel. Uh, through the interface, uh, the graphing interface here. So this and the gra and the calculator does not even re graph the functions. You know everything is done in real time. So that is something that uh, I cannot emphasize the benefit of this touch screen enough. But the only issue I have with that is uh, these soft menu me menus here. So you know the soft menu is great, but I just I really wish uh, they would have kept these functions keys here. You know. I don't think anybody ever complained about these functions keys. It's great to have uh, re redundancy, you know, redundancy. Just have, the, just give us uh, the function keys F1 through F6, so we don't have to touch the screen all the time. And also, uh, you are dependent on uh, this touch screen. So just please, HP, do not make us dependent on the touch screen. And if the touch screen for some reason stops working, 
which I've never seen before. So props to HP for making a, a really good quality display. I've never seen a touch touch screen or a display going bad on any of any of these calculators before. But you know, like I said earlier, you know, we want redundancy. You know, give us options. Don't make us. Don't force. Don't don't don't, don't force us to use uh, the touch screen all the time. Give us uh, physical buttons. You know, it's always have to have uh, physical buttons. Okay, that is the reason why. Uh, all of us purchase calculators, you know, instead of using them on, on, on our cell phones. You know, if it's uh, it's about it's, if it's about touchscreen, we can always have uh, the app on the on the cell phone and just use uh, you, 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 uh, you use that all day. Okay. So speaking of keys, I also have a <laughs> I also have a big complaint about uh, the direction the direction keys here. I'm not a big fan of this. This is my least favorite favorite part of uh, the whole the entire calculator i don't not only i don't like it the direction keys i also hate it <laughs> you know it is too small it is too small plus it's really it's, it does not feel feel natural just like these soft keys this soft menu here it does not feel natural it's just too finicky in my opinion you know it's uh it's too tiny you know i would much rather have this instead with the uh, uh with with the each key separate you know, and uh, slightly bigger. If you take a look at the uh, TI over here, this is much, much bigger. It's really hard to see this in the dark, but the TI is uh, much bigger, okay? And uh, it feels uh, more natural using the TI. So yeah, HP, please uh, give us uh, an improved uh, direction key or, you know, <laughs> just, uh, just do something about that. I'm gonna be talking a lot about the keys because, I mean, that's uh, like, uh, <laughs> That's one of the most important aspects on the calculator. So speaking of keys again, HP, they removed certain features uh, from uh, the 50G or even the 39G too. A lot of people might not know that uh, their uh, predecessor uh, to the HP Prime is not really a 50G, it's actually a 39G too. A lot of people don't know about that calculator because that calculator is, uh, I don't know, it hasn't been around for long plus it was not popular at all but if you take a look at that you would see it has a lot of similarities with uh, the hp primes when it comes to the keys it was also really fast so that is that uh anyways uh I, I was talking about keys earlier so the keypad itself is good you know i like the uh the feel of it but uh we don't have enough uh i feel like we don't have enough shortcuts we don't have enough buttons for instance, if you wanted to access the catalog, uh, you know, uh, one way of accessing the catalog, you have to go to uh, uh, this uh, tool button. Uh, you need to be either in home or cast. Press this tool button, and then the catalog again. You have to use the uh, the, uh, the touch screen for that. So I don't like that. I really don't like that. Give us uh, the option to just access uh, the catalog in one touch. Catalog is one of the most used. Uh, 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 menu or yeah i guess menu on a calculator especially for those who uh, write programs because if you write programs the ca uh, catalog is where all the functions would be at so don't make it hard for us to access that catalog option uh here on the 49g this came out in 1999 more than 20 years ago and to access the catalog on that it's only one touch you know you only press this one button and it takes you straight to the catalog Okay, again, we are still talking about keys, buttons. Why Texas? Why HP decided to remove uh, the undo feature? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, granted, this thing has copy and paste. It keeps uh, a lot of stuff uh, in the clipboard. For instance, if I decided to copy this, shift, or I can just do that from the screen, copy. And if I go to paste it, Okay, let's see. I'm trying to do this behind the camera. So if I try to paste it, then uh, you notice that I have a bunch of stuff uh, in my clipboard. So that is really handy. But Texas Instrument took this uh, a step further. Okay, it's unbelievable how useful uh, that feature is on a Texas Instrument, just like on a on a on a regular laptop or PC computer. So this the undo uh, work the same exact way. So let's say I'm uh, let's say I do okay four times five. Press enter, then times five again. Keep doing that. And uh, if I erase all this stuff, let's see. Okay, yeah. I just erase all this stuff. There is no way I can get them back, right? You would think so. But if you press control Z, 
control hold control z then it's gonna bring everything back one by one and again if you press control y then it's gonna redo it it's gonna re, re undo or redo your actions once again and uh, also uh, let's have this bunch of stuff okay i'm trying to read this behind the camera it's kind of hard i can just press control a it's gonna highlight the whole thing for me control x is gonna cut it this this works just like a computer just like a laptop you know it's just uh i'm stunned by the amount of effort texas instrument has put uh toward uh or yeah toward their software it's just uh unmatched it's unmatched hp is uh like it's like unbelievably fast but when it comes to features when it comes to uh, functionalities texture instrument win, wins over hp is when it comes to certain aspects not all the aspects but when it comes to certain stuff so that is really handy just you know it's okay to copy text instrument you've done it before you, you've done it many, many times you know you've done it plenty of times as a matter of fact i believe this thing copy a lot from the ti89 that came out in 1998 okay so this one came out just a year after the texture instrument uh, calculator and uh, I guess HP had a I mean they had a couple of months to copy some of the stuff even though they couldn't copy a lot of a lot of things they had I mean they had a couple of months to copy uh, some of the stuff from Texas Instrument yeah anyways you know just copy that feature from Texas Instrument give us a you know a better a better you know undo feature you know it's not it's not that hard this one had it you know you, you, if you were to press uh, this uh, red shift key and the history key then uh, it will undo the second ash action you did okay you can also copy and paste stuff just just as you would normally do here on the hp prime okay yeah this video is going to be a rant again once again none of my videos are scripted and they never pro they probably never will be so i was uh, uh talking about the undo feature so now let's see i mean i have a lot of requests i have a lot of requests if uh if I fail to mention something, just uh, <laughs> just don't mind me. It's just a lot of stuff to mention. Okay, I think uh, this is probably going to be my last uh, uh, my last request uh, for uh, when it comes to the keys. It's going to be uh, the open and close parentheses. You know, please do not give us in the next car in, in your whatever you have planned for us next. Please do not give us a. Uh, uh, <laughs> one key for all you know one key for both parentheses give us a separate key for you know for open and closing parentheses just like texas instrument has over here you know i keep comparing this hp prime to a uh, texas instrument because that's the only competition uh hp really has you know they don't really have much competition many competitions when it comes to calculators you know K K casio is nice but yeah it's not it's not really you know it's not that's not really the benchmark you know Give us separate keys for your parentheses, and uh, yeah, that is that. And before I forget, uh, something that I should have mentioned at the very beginning because that is really, really important. You know, please, please, HP, do not make the repairability a nightmare for us. You know, uh, the repairability is actually not that bad on the HP Prime. I was actually, I was actually uh, successful, successful in uh, replacing the display on this. You know. I've never had any broken display. I just, you know, I just decided to test it. I had some, some HP calculators that 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 would not work for some for whatever reason. I mean, the display would come on, but you can't, you can't just get them to work. I couldn't get them to work. I flashed the firmware, everything was success, but it would just, you know, continue. Uh, it would just continue doing uh, going to boot loop. So I was successful in uh, removing that display and put it and and putting it back, and everything was working fine. So please. HP, if you're not going to make a uh, repairability easier, do not make it any harder. When it comes to that stuff, Texas Instrument is a joke. Pardon my language, but these uh, Texas Instrument calculators are a fucking joke. I mean, they charge us that much money for a calculator. If you spend, let's say, if you spend 180 after tax to acquire a brand new Texas Instrument calculator, and by mistake you you drop you drop it or you sit down on it. Or you have a bunch of kids at your house, they somehow manage to break the display. Guess what? You are out of luck. That $180, nearly $200 hardware just became a just became a complete waste because the display you cannot replace it. You know, you cannot replace it. It's just uh it's just it's just unfortunate. It's just uh it's unethical, it's being greedy, 
it's, I, I don't like it. I don't like that practice. I don't, I'm not a fan boy. You know, if these companies make good, good products, I mean, I'm going to buy it because I don't really have any options if you really think about it. But if I'm not going to see, I'm not going to sit over here, and, you know, and be like, oh, if they did that, maybe they did it for a reason. Nah, man, they did not do it for a reason. The only reason these companies would make a, your hardware harder for you to repair is just greed. They, it's just, they are just fucking greedy. All right. I got that out of my chest. So, because I tend to forget a lot of stuff when I'm making videos since my videos are not scripted. But here, at least I have a note here. So I can just uh, look over the notes really quick. So we talk about the keys, uh, the displays, and uh, <laughs> next, this might be a little uh, nitpicking, <laughs> but it's really not considering that we used to have it. They just decided to remove it. It's uh, the beep, you know. Please bring bring it back. You know, you know, this is what I'm talking about. If you are doing some something illegal on the calculator, then the calculator is going to beep at you. Uh, let's see. Let me just erase this. You heard this beep? You know that's. You know, different beeps. That's the beep I'm talking about. You know, I would rather have it, even though I know <laughs> I don't need it. You know, it's just nice to have. At least you have some, it kind of, you know, it kind of feels good to have that stuff. And uh, the alarm is really useless on a calculator, but I'm pretty sure there are, there might be a few people out there that, that would appreciate it. So, you know, just uh, just include it. Just bring it back. Just bring everything back. This thing had, a, had an alarm. alarm. And uh, even this one had an alarm, but uh, the HP Prime didn't have it. So yeah, bring bring that one back, please. Okay, next. Next is not as important as anything I just mentioned or anything I've mentioned earlier, but it's really important too if you think about it. Color options. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Why just uh don't don't just make one product for 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 everybody. It's just this is like one fit for everybody. That's 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 not a way to go. Texas Instrument has different colors for uh, not for all all of the calculators, but uh, the best sellers uh, like the eighty four plus color edition, the eighty three premium. That's I think that one is from for for, uh, for the French market. But even the uh, eighty four that came out in two thousand four had a bunch of uh, colors to choose from. You know they have a bunch of colors still. You know, if you go online, you can find a ATI 84 plus color edition in several different colors, like four or five different colors. So yeah, just give us the option. I believe that's part of the reason uh, Texas Instrument makes more sell because I look at it this way. You know, I don't really need none of these calculators. I'm done with college math. I don't do any math, really. Math is not even part of my job. So as a matter of fact, I don't even need these calculators. You know, I don't need them. I, I mean, I don't need, yeah, I don't need them. I just want them. I'm a collector, so I've, I mean, I must have them. A collector like myself, if the HP Prime had different colors, guess what? I probably would have picked up all, all the different colors if it was 10 of them. If HP decided to have 10 different Prime, I mean 10 different colors for the HP Prime, I would have acquired every single of them. You know, I'm, I'm, I probably wouldn't have, you know, just... Uh, go online one day and just uh, purchase 10 different colors of the HP Prime, you know, but over time, you know, that's how you get a market. You know, that's how you get customers to buy your product. You know, give us options. Don't just give us one option for everybody. Give us color options. Texas Instrument know, knows this, even though they don't have any competition, they are, they really aren't scared of HP stealing their, uh, <laughs> their market, which is, which is, to be honest, is very unlikely. But, uh, you know, you never know. You never know. No, no one is going to stay at the top forever. So there is that. Give us more color options. This in all black would have been amazing. Okay, so that is uh, something to consider. Okay, so the next topic is a really huge deal for me. I mean, you know, the HP programming language is great. You know, with the recent... Uh, uh, firmware updates, uh, they even gave us uh, the ability to write codes with Python, which is wonderful. It's not a full-blown uh, full Python, you know, but still, you can still do some impressive stuff with it. I don't, Python is not my, my strongest suit. I code in C-sharp, but even if HP somehow managed to include all the object-oriented programming languages into this calculator, I will never, ever 
program on this calculator. Never. <laughs> okay? For only one reason. The keys. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand people who sit down and start writing codes on calculators. You know, they must have a lot of time. I don't have anything against them. I mean, if they enjoy doing it, so be it. But they must have a lot of time because... I am not going to waste 30 seconds of my life just trying to write uh, the word enter. <laughs> you know, just uh, that's not only the HP Prime. I don't I do not write codes on none of these calculators. That's why I don't write codes on HP calculators. I mean, you can uh, you can you, I mean, you can have a computer, you can have a laptop, have the software on the laptop and just uh, write your codes on there because you can uh, just use the keyboards on a laptop or your desktop PC. But if that's the excuse some of us, some uh, some of, some some of the people might, uh, might might give me, then what is the point of having? I mean the uh, uh, the option here, anyways. This is what I'm talking about. I was doing this li a little earlier, okay. So this is a full blown QWERTY key keyboard, okay. I know, I know, I know. This is pretty much not allowed on any test here in the U.S. At least not in the college level. You cannot really take this anywhere with you <laughs> so that's the reason why I use this one solely for uh, writing programs it is so much convenient not only programs even uh, for doing basic stuff you know you can do that very easily because it is it has uh, the keyboard the keys or the keyboard layout is what everybody's used to so HP please please it's not that hard it's not it's really not that comp that complicated you know I know what I'm talking about here it's not that complicated just give us a uh, you know, whatever name you decide to come up with next, you know, HP Prime 2 or HP Prime, you know, Premium, whatever. Just give us another HP Prime with uh, the name HP Prime Programming Edition or Pro Edition, you know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, just uh, give us uh, a QWERTY keyboard. It doesn't have to be this huge, you know. It could be this size. Text engineer managed to have all the uh, keywords, all, all the individual key, I mean, uh, alpha, alphabet, alphabet keys here, so there is no reason f uh, for HP not to not to have that, if you ask me, you know, just uh, make the calculator a little bit bigger, and uh, call it the Pro Edition, whatever, I don't really care, man, nobody cares about the name, whatever name you give it to it, I don't care, if you wanted to, <laughs> call it whatever, man, C call it HP Prime TI, TI version, whatever you want to call it, we don't really care about that. We just want to be able to uh, to write programs on these calculators easily. You know, that's the marketing department to figure out. You know, figure out the name for it. But uh, please, 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 give us a calculator with uh, uh, on, uh, a calculator that we can use to write programs. Anybody who drops one fifty dollars on a calculator is willing to spend. An additional 20 30 even 50 bucks you know make the calculator 200 dollars let me tell you something <laughs> a lot of us most people that purchase the hp prime i mean they uh, i don't uh, for, for lack of a better term they are smart people so they know what they are spending the money on i'm pretty sure they are willing to spend you know an extra 50 bucks just to get a calculator that has a lot of features you know that is uh the the two hundred dollar is not to me two hundred dollar is not it's, it's not it's not it's still a lot for the calculator but you know it's something that I can I can close my eyes on if the calculator has what it takes if the calculator has all the features I ne never really had any complaint about the HP Prime b besides these uh, keys here I never had any complaint about the price you know I never had any complaint about the price on the HP Prime so even if it was two hundred dollars I still would have gotten it yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that is a give us a, a QRD keyboard and uh, give French people the Azerty or Azerty, Azerty keyword Q, Q, I can't I can't pronounce that word QRD and give the French people Azerty. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know what Germans use, but you know, just give people what they want. Okay, so next, uh, I already mentioned the. Uh, Repairability, I believe. Yeah, for the love of God, just do not make uh, the repairability on uh, the next HP a nightmare. All right. Uh, I think uh, I've covered pretty much uh, uh, everything. Oh, uh, so one thing that I forgot to mention is uh, 
the <laughs> this might be nitpicky, but it's really not considering that we used to have it once again. That is uh, a feature that uh, HP removed. That is the SD card. So this one has well, this one is doesn't have it, but uh, okay, this is a 48 G two, but a 49 G plus that came out in 2003, nearly 20 years ago, had the ability to add uh, an external SD card, a regular size SD card, and you could add up to two gigabyte of uh, flash memory to your calculator. So they decided to remove that. I cannot understand why they did that because this one came with a lot of storage. Uh, especially the second gen the second gen had a uh, twice the storage the second gen prime had a uh, 512 gigabyte so yeah that is a lot for a calculator but <laughs> this one uh you uh, not the, not not this specific one but the 49g2 g plus or, or the 50g which some most people know 50g had the ability to add a, uh, an sd card of at, up to uh, 2 gigabyte so just uh, bring the SD card back. Now, one last thing is the bug. So another uh, major issue that I had with the farm is the bug. <laughs> this thing just crashed for no reason. I can make this thing crash all day. Okay, so one way of making this crash is with the new pattern app. If you press sim, escape, <laughs> there you go. It's just gonna reset itself. You know, I can make this calculator crash in in 100,000 or 100 million different ways. And oftentimes, when you make a crash, whatever you had on your stack, it would just get rid of everything and just bring some old some old old contents back. You know, and it didn't it didn't do that here for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, I can make this thing crash all day. So that's my two cents <laughs> about. Uh, the HP Prime, you know, not the HP Prime or whatever, you know, uh, the, the next HP Prime, please HP. Uh, <laughs> it would be nice if we can get uh, all these features. A lot of the stuff that I just mentioned, it's not really impossible. It's not too much to ask either. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that is that. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section.